All right, welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to 24 at Windsor. Not the veranda update as normal, but guess what? We have some good news. Internet test was done at 24 at Windsor using our Starlink, and let me tell you, the speed was exceptional, better than we expected, um, considering that we were kind of in a little valley. This is going to be a short update video, so listen to the end because we have some pointers based on some things that we experienced um, while we're testing that we want to share with you. And also, a lot of persons have been asking, how do you go about ordering the, 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 um, the Starlink if you want it? So we're just going to go through that as well and also share with you what the costs are that you should be looking um, at. So really, we had limited time to do our test um, because of the battery that we're using. We're using one of the Greenworks battery. So we, we know that we had about an hour and a half to two hours worth of testing to get done. So we had to really move fast. Um, once we're connected, I was tested, we're getting exceptional bandwidth. 80 down and 16 megs up. So that is really good. I mean, that is comparable to bandwidth something you get at home, right? So went right into testing. I mean, we're streaming Netflix, movie from Netflix, YouTube, and also a documentary from the F1.com. So, I mean, no buffering, everything was just really smooth. So we're really um, we're satisfied with it, the results that we're getting, right? So let's now jump into um, some of the tips we want to share with you, right? One of the first things we found out when we tried to connect, once we moved into the bush, and was set up, we got a big message coming up on the screen saying, this is not the registered address for the Starlink. So, I mean, we're a little bit concerned at the time. So there is an option available um, that you can turn on, which allows you to use your um, Starlink at different location from the registered address. So when you order the Starlink, you have to specify an address that you're registering at, right? And that is the address that you can use it at when you, when you get it. So we registered for an address in Kingston because we don't really have an address in the bush, right? So we tested it in Kingston and it worked perfectly. So when we go to the bush now, it's saying that it's not the registered address. So residential has three options. One is residential. Basically, it's a fixed address. That means you're not supposed to be, supposed to be moving it around. Then you have another option that says portability, right? And portability means that you can shut it down at one location, move it to another location in the same country that you reside in, and you can start it and it works, right? And then you have an, a, a third option, which is RV. It's like a roaming, um, roaming option where you can strap it to your vehicle. And as you drive, and you're driving around in an RV or a pickup or whatever, or bus, you are getting internet access as you drive. Yes, so we had to activate portability mode and that gave us access while we're on location. Now to activate portability mode, you need to have internet access. So you don't want to be going out into some remote location that does not have any, any form of access to the internet and try and set up. Um, you want to, if you know that you're not gonna have internet access at the location you're going, you need to turn on portability mode before you get to that location. So the good thing is that we had um, data access via mobile so we could activate the portability mode and it came on within about 15 or 20 minutes, right? So that was good. Now turning on portability mode was an, an additional cost of $2,000 per month. So if you want to have that option, just remember you have to pay an additional $2,000. Jamaican dollars per month. All right, so that is one of the, the major things we found out. Um, so it's important that you, you, you are aware of that. So in the event that you um, purchase a, your Starlink and you want to be able to use it in multiple places, you're going on a camping or you want to go to the beach and still have good internet access, ensure that you have the portability mode turned on and uh, you're ready for that extra $2,000 Jamaican, right? A number of persons have been asking um, you know, what is the process for ordering the Starlink, all right? So it's a very straightforward process. Um, first, you want to go to the starlink.com website, right? Sign up, right? So you have to sign up with your information, name, address, and etc. And then once you have signed up, you want to go and order the, the, the device. The process is that you have to um, put a deposit of 100 to secure your position in the line, because I mean, a number of persons are ordering this thing. And 
once it's available, then you'll get an email uh, for confirmation that you still want to go with it. You say yes, and you pay your additional amount, which is four hundred dollars, uh, for a total of five hundred dollars US, right, for the the device. So once it's shipped, they will start billing you um, the monthly uh, amount, which is just about eight thousand five hundred dollars a month, right? That is for the for the residential where you're not moving. If you are going to do with to go with any of the options that you can move around, then there are some additional costs. As I said, the portability mode was an additional two thousand dollars Jamaican um, to to get that feature activated. So if you're considering going with a Starlink solution, yes, that is a straightforward process, easy, cheesy. And when you get it, you just need to collect three cables and that's it. And plug it in and you're ready to go. That is it. Um, for now, we have some more tests that we're going to be doing and if you think that there's any information that you want or you want us to do some tests for uh, on your behalf and share that information, let us know and we will do the test and um, post that so everybody can have access to it. All right, And we'll respond to your comments and questions. As usual, please, please, please subscribe, give us a like, share your comments. Looking forward to, you, to more feedback from you guys. Thanks. Bye.